family and friends remembering 19-year-old Yadira Ramiro Martinez, describing her as gentle and kind at a vigil over the weekend. Martinez, who lived in Bloomington, was found dead last Friday inside a Minneapolis home. Every time I see these um, articles about women being killed, it is tragic. Cheryl Thomas is the executive director of Global Rights for Women, an organization working to end systemic violence against women across the country. For Thomas, Martinez's story is one of many across the world. Femicide is, we describe it as the murder of women because they are women. It's gender-based violence and murder. According to Minneapolis police, a 23-year-old man was arrested in Ohio after the Hennepin County Attorney's Office issued an emergency arrest warrant in connection with Martinez's death. While the details surrounding Martinez's murder are still unclear, Thomas says violence against women is a crisis that can no longer be ignored. And that's one of the most powerful reasons I think that the violence continues is because it's not addressed and it's not, it's not, the message is not sent that this is something our communities will not tolerate. In Minneapolis, Charmaine Nero, Cure 11 News. Minneapolis police are still waiting for autopsy results. A march is planned for Martinez this Thursday at 5 p.m. on Lake Street. Organizers are asking people to bring candles and wear purple.